Today we're going to be talking about tractor safety. So I have a demonstration here we're going to do with these two tractors. So um, I have this red tractor here and this green tractor. Which one do you think might be safer to operate? The green one. The green one? Mm -hmm. Why did you pick the green one? Over here some of the equipment looks a little bit more covered. There's a cover on top as well. It just seems a bit safer. Yeah, the big thing about these, these two tractors, uh, well actually there's two things. Um, this one has a, a ROPS, or a rollover protective structure. It would keep the operator from getting hurt if that should r roll over, overturn to the side. This is called the tricycle um, configuration. Um, so which tractor do you think may have, the, a better, have better stability? This one. This one. Yeah, because it has a, a wide front end. So, right. Yeah, the old tricycle tractors, they don't make them like that anymore. But they were a little less stable because they had... Um, a smaller uh, area of stability. So this uh, more modern tractor has a wide front end, plus it has the, the ROPS, or rollover protective structure. So what I'm gonna do here is simulate an overturn. So um, I'm gonna use this red tractor with no ROPS. And I have some volunteer operators here who are actually eggs. <laughs> so, and this is Mr. Good Egg. This is Pete Good Egg. <laughs> So I'm going to put him on the, on the seat. So we're going to pretend that um, Pete Goodegg was working on a side slope, kind of like this here. And he hit a woodchuck hole and his tractor is going to roll over. So what do you think will happen to, to Pete? He's going to get crushed. Probably going to get crushed. All right, let's see. Ooh. And the, he did not have a good outcome. So if you ever saw something like that happen to somebody, you know, you want to call 911 right away, don't approach the tractor because that could roll over onto you too. You know, it might be um, precariously balanced. So. All right, so that was pretty obvious there. So the next uh, um, example we'll do is with the, the more modern tractor here with the wraps in the wide front end. Um, so, uh, Pete's brother Mike, Mike Goodegg, is going to take over this job here. So he gets in the cab, and he's on a side hill, and he hits a woodchuck hole, and let's see what happens. And come up and take a look. Uh, what happened to Mike? Fell out of the seat. Fell out of the seat. Is he crushed underneath the canopy? No. No. No, he's not. But if that was... it's. It's an egg, so it doesn't have like legs and stuff, but you know, if that was a real person, maybe his arms cut underneath the canopy or his legs are pinned underneath there. So let me see, let's take him, take him out. And, hmm, looks like he survived that one. So the wraps uh, saved him. And so now we'll do another overturn, but this time it's gonna be uh, Bob Goodegg. So there's like three brothers that own this farm. So here's Bob. He's going to get in the tractor um, and finish that job they were trying to do. But uh, Bob's a lot smarter. He's going to wear a seatbelt. So I'm going to attach that seatbelt. And he's mowing along that side hill, hits a woodchuck hole. And what happened to Bob? Let's see. Almost the same outcome, except but, I think he was still a little bit more in the tractor. Than yeah, he yeah, he survived that a lot better. No, no damage to his head. So he survived that um, because he was wearing a wraps and he had the seatbelt on. You know, when you grow up and you start uh, operating tractors, make sure that your, uh, if your tractor has a roll bar or wraps that you're using the seatbelt. Use that seatbelt every time. 